yes my friend this magic element this magic element is the evaporator oh, the evaporator is magic because uh, suction suction air with ambient temperature from one side and in the other side you receive cold air yes this is basically because this motor this motor this motor suction the air look the, the air at the ambient temperature here enter over there enter over there remember that uh, here is located the filter no the filter is located here it's going up and down this is the filter that you should replace periodically in one portion of the cycle absorb heat absorb heat in the evaporator or in the condenser absorb heat in the evaporator yeah in the evaporator absorb oh yes because absorb heat the air with ambient temperature let the air let the heat over there and pass through the other side with less heat absorb heat in the evaporator ah because absorb heat in the evaporator here here you have a condensation condensation of fresh water because here 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 you have a fresh water accumulated 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 for condensation because remember what is the boiling point of the refrigerant minus 22 degrees fahrenheit <laughs> at that low low temperature start to boil this is the boiling point of course at the ambient temperature is vapor 100 percent sure but it's too low the temperature is practically frozen for for you and me it's frozen ah for the refrigerant it's too hot yes <laughs> for the refrigerant in the output of the evaporator the refrigerant is superheated yeah it's completely vapor yeah but uh, if you touch that pipe in the output of the evaporator it's too cold it's too cold but uh, for the refrigerant uh, it's too hot all right keep in mind that uh, the boiling point of the refrigerant is at minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit. That, uh, the compressor the compressor receive the, the refrigerant vapor in one side at uh, the high temperature vapor low pressure but uh, in the output is vapor super saturated at high pressure and high temperature in other words in the compressor you have vapor and vapor in both sides vapor vapor at a low pressure and high temperature and uh, in the other side it's vapor again but it's high 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 pressure and high 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 temperature all right vapor and vapor okay how is uh, how is uh, the the evaporator uh, how is the uh, the construction of uh, the evaporator and now we are going to analyze the evaporator we are going to refresh quickly the operation of the evaporator remember that the, the freon the freon pass uh, to the dryer and after that if you check the diameter is reduced dramatically and of course this is the capillary pipe and the pressure and the temperature is reduced and the pressure and the temperature enter in the button of, uh, of this evaporator of this coil of, of this serpentine I have a million dollar question. Can I install with the one compressor in the bilge of my boat more than one evaporator? Can I connect more than one evaporator with one compressor? The answer is yes. But uh, that amount of evaporators should be calculated. If you are an engineer with the experience to calculate according with the capacity of the compressor how many evaporators can I connect you are you are authorized if not I recommend call an expert call the, the dealer specialized in air condition system and they recommend the compressor according with the amount of evaporators that you want to install bills we have the compressor on the bills yeah and, uh, and we have uh, the evaporator the evaporator on uh, on the cabin don't forget this is the vital element the filter 
This is the element that we are going to replace periodically. And this is the element that we are going to service. And this is the element that we need check, check, check uh, uh, frequently. I am going to explain later uh, at the end of this episode how uh, we are going to do a simple troubleshoot for the evaporator and uh, what are the symptoms when the evaporator is working improperly and what are the consequences if you don't replace the filter periodically according with the intervals recommended by the manufacturer. Here, here we have condensated fresh water. This is fresh water. And uh, what happened here in the other side? What happened in this, in this point? In this point we have, we have salt water. We have salt water, all right? That salt water is going warm, a little hot. This is the salt water used to cool uh, the refrigerant in the condenser, in the condenser, all right? And this is fresh water. Never mix it, this, this, this drained fresh water with the drained salt water. Okay, what is the enemy of, uh, of the operation of uh, the evaporator? The enemy of the uh, operation of the evaporator is that the people never, never, never uh, replace uh, the filter according with the intervals recommended by the manufacturer. Uh, remember that the, the, filter, the filter is located here. The filter is located over there, okay? At uh, the input of, uh, of the evaporator. Okay, if you don't re replace that filter and the filter is clogged, the filter is clogged, and uh, remember the coil of the evaporator, the pipes are practically frozen. What happens if the filter is clogged and less air, less air than the recommended pass through the coils? What happens with those pipes? What happened with the ice around those pipes? Increase, 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 and suddenly you have that situation. 